So now let's walk through uploading and deploying an application in Intune. So we're going to hit Add, and then you're going to select Line of Business. It tells you, you know, basically it supports the .intune Mac, which is what you just built. Hit Select. You're going to select the app. Hit OK. You'll see here, you can name it what you want to name it. So you know, switch the name to PowerShell. PowerShell package for Mac OS. Publish it to Microsoft. This is all the stuff that will display inside the company portal. I want it to be managed. I'm going to call it productivity. Sure, we'll make it a featured app. And you can put information, URL, privacy URL, etc. Then you can upload a logo if you want. Totally up to you. I'm not going to go through all that. You'll hit next. I'm not going to use scope tags. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to say I'm just going to add it all users as a required app. Why not? And you can see here you can do, you know, available for enrolled or uninstall like other Intune things. Hit next. Hit create. Now, those of you who are Mac OS veterans are going to notice that's very, very feature uh, lacking, let's say, at this point. Because a lot of things that you might be used to, like pre and post scripts and things like that, it's not really available in it, which, realistically speaking, for most Mac shops is a big problem. Because you want to be able to stage and build out great experiences, and you really can't do that like this. Because, I mean, they do support, like, deployment of scripts and stuff like that, but that kind of synergy and beautiful flow that you want to be able to deliver and you know OS is like Catalan and Big Sur because of how noisy they can be is very crucial. So that shows you what that Mac OS app deployment process is like. You see here afterwards we can go into it. You see here it shows you the build version which is pretty neat. So it just gives you kind of like a really nice idea of how, what the whole thing is like.